Hey, what's up, Salt Strong family? This is Pat Ogletree, your favorite travel and fishing coach. And in this video, I want to give you a hack where you can have your cake and you can eat it too when it comes to artificial lures. So what I'm talking about is taking a setup like this. So you've got a soft plastic that is rigged on a jig head. This just so happens to be a chartreuse jig head. I know that's a really popular color. You know, there's a lot of people that say, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. And there's people that like red jig heads and, and people that'll use both of them in certain situations. But the issue is, is when you rig them weedlessly, when you take these soft plastics and you rig them on a hook like this, like this Haas Helix hook, you lose that contrasting color. So you don't have that thing to make it stand out or have the confidence that you feel that you can with the jig head. And I'm going to show you a hack that you can actually have a weedless presentation with the contrasting colors. So here we go. So it's a really common thing to actually take your plastics and dip it into a color dye. And it's usually a tail that you're going to dip it into color. Usually it's a chartreuse, maybe a lime, maybe something along those lines. And I'll give you an example of this right here. This is where I took our Fred Mulligan and I put it in some dye and I was able to change that tail into a chartreuse tail. So you get a pink lure with a chartreuse tail, which is a really, really popular color combination. Now the dye that I'm talking about, in case you're unfamiliar with it, I'm using this right here. It's called Spike It Dip and Glow. Uh, this has been around for a long, long time, and it's popular with both freshwater and saltwater fishermen. But typically what you're doing with this setup is you're dunking that tail in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take and dunk the head in that, and then I'm going to get something that's going to come out like this. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to take a lure that normally wouldn't have that contrasting color, I can rig it weedlessly, and now I'm gonna have that contrasting color. And just a little pizzazz, I actually colored those eyes in. Now this lure is actually the mulligan, which it makes it easier to color the eyes in because as you can tell right there, they kind of protrude out a little bit. But if you don't have a, a soft plastic that has those protruding eyes, you can still do that. And that is this right here. This is our Slam Shady 2.0. And I just put those little dots on there. Now what I use to actually put the eyes on there is the markers that are made by Spike It. Now this is a four pack that I got from a local sports store. Uh, this has got the blue, the red, the chartreuse, and the orange that all come in here. And it's the same type of dye that the dip it is, the actual liquid that you dip into. It's just in a marker form so you can be a little bit more precise with it. And that's how I was able to put those little dots in there to fill in the eyes. And with the markers, you can actually kind of play around with it. I was having a little bit of fun. I showed you those. This is a bomber that I made that's got a red head and it's got the, uh, the dark eyes on it so it kind of stands out. Here's a Fred, the pink color that I put a little blue head on there. You can even, you know, color the tails, uh, put some little gills in it like I did here with this Slam Shady Jerk, you know, colored some gills in there. You know, just like I said, add a little uh, little pizzazz and a little flair to it. Now, truth be told, I'm not a huge proponent in having to have the exact right color, but I know there's a lot of people out there that really believe in that chartreuse, that red jig head, or having a little flash on there. So I just want to give an option where you can take your soft plastic and you can actually modify it and customize it to where you want to get that confidence in it that you need to become successful. Now, another hack that I want to give you, this one will help you save money. Instead of buying the painted jig heads, the chartreuse jig heads and the red jig heads, you can actually buy the unpainted jig heads like this one right here. This happens to be a Haas football. It could be a round jig head, could be a shad head style jig head, but get the unpainted ones and just get the sizes that you need, the 16th, the 8th, the quarters, whatever you use. And then instead of having to have two or three or multiple different colors, the same sizes, you can use the unpainted ones and then instead go ahead and dye the head of your lure the color that you want. That way it cuts down on the inventory, the stuff that you have to buy, and then you can have a lot less to maintain and it does save you money in the long run. Now, just a word of warning on these. I've been showing you the lighter colors, the, the Slam Shady and the Fred color. I did try this on a darker color. This is our Alabama Leprechaun and I put the tail in the chartreuse and you can tell it really didn't stand out. Now, on our Gold Digger, color, which is the black with a gold, uh, it really didn't show up at all on that one. So uh, if any of you out there are using dyes like this that actually work well on darker colors, I'd like to hear about it and I'd like to know what the brand name is so we can share that with everybody out there too. Now one con when it comes to this type of dye is it doesn't work on that real stretchy type of uh, plastic like what you're finding in the Z-Man material and our Brazilian Power Prawn, not the Power Prawn USA, but the Brazilian Power Prawn that's got that real stretchy material. This dye 
eye does not take well to that at all. It really doesn't even work at all. It needs to be your standard plastisol type of plastic that most of your lures are made out of. Now, I haven't tried this on gulp products, so I don't know if that works. I don't have any gulp to do that experiment with, but if you have, I'd love to hear from you and see if that has worked. If it does or if it doesn't, put that down in the comments below. So if you are gonna use the product like this, like this spike it right here, with my experience, it takes about three different dips to get the color that I wanted, meaning I would dip the lure into the dye, pull it out, let it dry for maybe 10 seconds, and then repeat that process twice. And then it finally gave me the results that I wanted. Just one dip it only gave it maybe a slight chartreuse color, but after three of them, it was a pretty solid change in color. And the same thing goes with the markers. It took about three coats to get that effect that I was looking for. Now, just to reiterate, we do not have any type of affiliation with Spike It. We don't sell it in our stores. And again, Again, we don't have any affiliation with them. This is just the brand that was available to me that I was gonna use for this video. Now, if there's another brand out there that you like better or you have different results, I'd like to hear about those and put those down in the comments below. That would be great to hear. So if you like using these soft plastic dyes to modify your lures and you did something different than I've showed in the video, put those down in the comment below. I'd like to hear about those too. So for more fishing tips like this, go to saltstrong.com slash fishing tips, where we literally have thousands of videos that will help you become a a better inshore angler and there's also some really cool fish catching footage in there too so if you want to try any of these lures that i've mentioned in the video whether it be the bomber or the jerk shad or the 2.0 or even the new mulligan that's coming out i recommend going to fishstrong.com and remember our insiders will get an extra discount off the tackle at fishstrong.com so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from it and as a traveling fishing coach you never know where i'm going to end up next and maybe i'll run into you in the water and if i don't run into the water then i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the best online fishing club in America, where we guarantee that you'll catch more fish in less time. And we do this through premium education and our new app called Smart Fishing Spots. This app not only shows you where to fish, but when to fish along with so much more. And our insiders get a discount off the tackle that they need to become successful inshore anglers. And they'll meet friends fast or it's free. For more information, go to saltstrong.com. And until then, we hope to see you in the insider community soon.